it down before we get to Oxford game. Um, to get out of the way, transfers. Any latest news on that? No, no front? news. No news. Yeah, is, is that frustrating from your point of view? Obviously, no. I'm fine. I've got a talented group of players, so uh, I've got a good. Uh, we've got a small, small squad, but it's full of quality. Um, we uh, we've been doing ever so well this season. Obviously, looking to add to it, but no news to announce at the minute. No, is, is Rory Gaffney someone that you'd still like to bring to the Rory club? Gaffney's not my player. It's disrespectful mm. to speak about somebody else's player. So uh, he's at Cambridge United. He's played for Cambridge Saturday. So uh, there's nothing to say on Rory or, or anybody else. And, and when we've got something to say, it'll be announced as soon as we, we, we have it done. But at the minute, nothing to say. Yeah, and Sunday, the next game, um, how do you approach that? Is it, does it change your preparations for the game in terms of the run-up to the game with the extra day? Um, not really, to be honest with you. It just moves the day forward a week. So uh, players are used to playing different days of the week. So uh, it doesn't really change anything of our programme. We'll, uh, we'll work as we work every week. Oxford obviously been in great form uh, on a real high after beating Swansea. So I'm expecting a good match Sunday with two attacking teams. And we'll certainly be going there to win the game. We don't uh, had seven victories away from home this season, which is which is great. We've got another ten away games to play this season, and we we'll try and look to win every single one of those. And uh, Sunday will be no different. We have a great, healthy contingent of fans going down there. Our support's been absolutely amazing this season. Home and away, and uh, I'm sure it'd be a good atmosphere at the game. Yeah, it was a long time ago, wasn't it? The first meeting between you two, uh, incident pack game, wasn't it? Two sendings off in that game. Um, is that too far gone now to expect a similar sort of game this time around? Uh, you never know. You never know how the game's going to pan out. What I will say is, is uh, it's two mobile teams that uh, try and play football the right way, so uh, we'll see how it, how it goes. The, the first game was early on in the season where I thought it was a little bit unfortunate to lose the game 1 0 on the day down to 10 men and uh, obviously Ollie Clark got sent off but that was rescinded after so that was obviously a bad decision by the referee and one or two things didn't quite go for us on the day but that can happen through the course of the season hopefully we maybe get a bit of a, the rub of the green on Sunday so, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it and, and the players certainly are yeah, you mentioned that uh, Oxford are in good form themselves at the moment. How, is it a good time to play? Is there ever a good time to play in a team like that? Maybe you can catch them on the back of. Uh, no, of not a really. Bit. I'm not really into this. It's a good time to play them. It's not a good time to play them rubbish. To be honest with you, it's this mm. game with eleven men. I keep saying it each week. It's eleven v eleven. So and different things can happen through a game of football that can affect the result. We've got to make sure that we prepare like we do every single other game. Respect Oxford. But, uh, but also, make, it won't be that much respect that we fear them. Uh, we, we know what we're capable of on our day. And I believe when we're on our, on our, on our game, and uh, totally on our game, we're, uh, we're more than a match for anybody in this division. So we'll go there full of confidence, albeit after a disappointing result, not necessarily performance against Barnet. I thought uh, our build-up play was excellent, just lacked in the final third against Barnet. But uh, we'll, we'll look to adjust ourselves and bounce back quickly. Yeah, and, and that's the key, isn't it? Banks him back quickly because honestly, you guys were on a great run before that result. So to start yeah. a new run, yeah, but we don't get carried away. I didn't get carried away on the run. I'm not sort of manager to get carried away anyway. And uh, and for me, it's such a competitive league that anybody can beat anybody. It's been like that for I don't know how many years now. And it's it's a team with the most consistency or, or bounce back from uh, defeats or, or bad runs that normally end up in the top seven. We've um, we managed to do that early in the season when we didn't win for five games and everybody thought we was up for another relegation. So we, we keep building and teching each game as it comes and, and, and ticking them off. Yeah, and, and looking at the table, I mean, obviously it, not much between the two teams in the table, so this is a, a good game for you Great to... games, great games coming up. Uh, Oxford, Plymouth, Accrington, Portsmouth. Uh, mm. So really, real good games. Uh, uh, it's nice to know that we're competing at the top for the top seven and the top end of the table in these big games and I'm, I'm sure our fans are relishing it just like uh, the players and my staff. Yeah, and, and where are you in terms of um, looking overall at the season where you are at the moment? Are you where you want to be? Are you ahead of schedule? I think everybody just snaps your hand off for us to even be competing to get in the top seven to be honest with you. If you looked at my Saturday's team every one of them players were playing non-league football last year so and some of those didn't even make the, the starting eleven at Wembley so that goes to show how far we've gone as a squad the squad hasn't changed hardly at all. We've had three, four come in. We've had three, four go out. The squad's not had a lot of money spent on it at all. And we're, we're competing to, to get into the top seven, which is testament for my playing staff and my, and my staff that have, have, have helped the, the club get into a, a position with 20 games to go to be able to finish in the top seven. But uh, we, we'll, go, we'll go there Sunday, Oxford. It's another three points up for grabs. We're disappointed we didn't get anything out of the Barnet game and we'll try and put that right on Sunday.